The alarm goes off. What happened? Wow. Well, I'd get up at 6.30, feed the kids breakfast, go off to Gourmet for a full day's work until we finish lunch, get in a car at 2 o'clock, go out to see the kids at school, pick them up, bring them back home, do homework for an hour so I could see them, go back to the Food Network, do the 7 o'clock show, be done by 8 o'clock, come home for dinner at 8.15, uh, go back to the Food Network at 9.30 to do the 10 o'clock show, done at 11 o'clock, home at 11.15, crash. <sighs> How did you do it? Well, we'll find out. Chef Sarah Moulton spent a decade on Food Network as pioneer of live cooking on TV, while working full-time as executive chef of Gourmet Magazine, serving as the culinary director of Good Morning America, writing two widely acclaimed cookbooks, and raising two children with her music producer husband. We met in her spacious loft in the Chelsea section of Manhattan. The home displays her shelves of cookbooks, her husband's massive record collection, and a kitchen of her own design. Now we've learned her culinary secrets, but how does she handle that schedule? It was planning, a really good planning. I mean, once on weekends, which I actually had off, I would figure out the menu for the whole week, and I would get all the groceries in-house, and I would work up sort of a menu plan. To keep your energy going consistently from 6.15 in the morning until you go to bed at 11 o'clock at night with virtually no break. I always got eight hours sleep. Well, roughly eight hours, not quite. But um, sleep is really key. And I also learned, you're not going to believe this, how to sleep anywhere at any time during the day. My dad had said when he was in the service he learned how to do that. You know, you just take a cat nap for 10 minutes. So. Pam, my makeup artist, would be doing my hair for both shows at like 5.36, and I would sleep while she was doing my hair, sitting up in the chair. I learned how to sleep standing on the subway, standing on the subway. So I took my little cat naps throughout the day, and I could go to sleep, and I could wake up, and I felt refreshed. And how did all this whirlwind of activity, which also included creating hundreds of recipes for her cookbooks, help Sarah to grow. One of the great things about doing all these jobs is I, it kept me mentally alert. I had to study. And somehow it's almost like they say, you know, exercising gives you more energy. It doesn't make you tired. By doing this work, I stayed sharper. I had more energy. I was smarter. Sarah's new PBS television series is Sarah's Weeknight Meals. What's her current mission on TV? Back to Family Meal. That is my mission. That is absolutely my mission, is to get everybody, whether it's you and your dog, let's say you're a single person, or it's just you, you, you. You deserve to cook yourself a nice meal and to sit down at the end of the day and reflect. Sarah's own family meals are made in a kitchen with some personal touches. Now here's the really coolest thing. Okay, garbage pail, garbage, big deal, right? big deal, okay? Uh -huh. Cutting board with hole in it goes right down to garbage Excellent. pail. Isn't that brilliant? These are magnetic spice holders. And look, they're all labeled, they're just right there. I use them a lot more because they're so handy now. It's been a wonderful thank you for having us in your home. There's one thing I want to do, kind of take our viewers into Sarah Moulton's refrigerator. No. Yes, oh, we're going to no, see. Oh no, but it's not organized, no, here Bill. we go. Yikes. Ah! Oh my god. Look at that. Um, I have not seen this much food in the refrigerator usually... since I was 12 oh, years old. Oh, it's always old. much neater than look that. Look at this, everything. I don't know what happened here. Anyway, let's yeah. have a little trip inside. <laughs> From deep inside Sarah Moulton's refrigerator, this is Bill Boggs for My Generation.